RPG Dota Summit 13 SEA group stage. And yeah, there, there's really no big surprises here. This is this is probably the most standard support. Kind of go from there. You should have known better. <laughs> what is? That wasn't too bad. Uh, I love oh, the all chat. Crap. PA only. Bells. Did you listen to some music, March? <laughs> Okay, very defensive ward from March here to start. He wants to be tapped in position four. I guess they've actually just gone for a five-man rotation. I was too busy reading the all chat. Cuckoo's getting gone on. Can they finish him off? Couple more auto attacks, dagger. KP gets it. All right, TNC starting the game off. Quick smart and in a hurry. Get that first blood up on their Slardar and claim their two bounty runes down here. And you're doing gonna shuffle uh, over. They don't have any mana on the Lich. Banny rune shortly. Zephyr ready. Sort of thinking about it. Abed doing the same thing. Didn't get the refill, so really needs these bottle sips. Tim's taking some pressure, but still has the dive, so should be okay. KP gonna try for the rune instead, but it will be in your dream out clicking him this time around. Australia ping probably not helping KP's case there. He wants this kill on March, but I don't know if he can actually get it. The slow is helping. Two points up in the Slytherin crush. He's got the bash primed. We do have the fairy fire for March. Trying to save his life. In your dream, can he finish this kill? Needs one more auto attack and he gets it. Didn't think that they could get it without the mana on the Lich, but just the constant auto attacks from the Lifestealer will end up doing it. And now Tim's, he doesn't have the dive. In your dream, maybe finding one more. This is going to be great for Among Us if they can get it, and they do. Wanting that extra pass All right. Radiance bottom tower is under up. attack. So I'm almost at his heels. He's getting close. A master is, it, is he going to get lucky as well? Yeah, all right. He gets, gets the rune too. Tim's dive. Dyer's top tower is Good under trajectory. Attack. Gets him out of there. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Armel seemingly wants to fight, and the top tower is dead. They're coming down to try and defend bottom. KP gonna look for March first. Can they actually land this lockdown onto Cuckoo? They got the Doom onto Armel before he can get the spear out. The Phoenix Sun is looking like it's gonna be brought down. One more auto attack from Zephyr will do it. KP still fighting, but this Chain Frost slowing him down. Two dead thus far on the side of TNC, and looking like KP's gonna get kited to his death as well. They're keeping tabs on Armel. He's out of the Doom, but uh, looking very dead at this point as Zephyr brings him down. And that mid. Why did they... Abed can try and drag this wave. Going back to the point about the Lifestealer, it seems like Armlet, the Halberd, needs an MKB eventually. AC also seems really good this game. Um, they've got the Doom back up in about five seconds time, so I imagine they are looking to make some kind of a play with that. We go for the immediate smoke. They see KP at mid, but it's really not the target that they want. And I think they're hoping to find somebody over the enemy tri camp, but instead looks like they will just settle for White Mon. Abed hops straight on top of him and Kuku brings him down. Tim's thinking about this fight though, and they are moving into a somewhat awkward area. The arena has already been used, still on cooldown for now. March dead, so just support for support thus far. Kuku, if he wants to use the Doom, it's got to be now, and instead it's just uh, Among Us maybe going in a little too deep. And will end up kind of feeding away two kills after the free um, takeoff. Useful for that, useful for the Doom, useful for the Searing Chains. Definitely seems good all around. Abed not going to be going for the BKB rush. Uh, it does seem like he just wants a secondary Halberd. So that appears to be the plan to try and deal with this PA, but... Oof. A plan is one thing, how it works out in practice is another thing entirely. And if you're corrosive hazed and PA comes flying at you, you might just disappear before anyone can press Halberd to save you. We'll have to see March. Uh, well, he got the frost armor up there, but frost shield, sorry. Not enough to save him. Gabby also gonna get silenced up. This is decent damage. They get the stun from Gabby, and that is just a straight up double kill. I don't even think the PA is supposed to be getting so active at this point, but two free kills for TNC. They're gonna be very happy with that. It isn't even really the point here. Cool. 
mark just a mispositioning the courier somewhat there. So they, at least they know that the rush end is happening, but can they get over here in time to stop it? Abed does end up going back for the BKB in this position, but Roshan's just melting. If they want to do something, they got to do something now, and it looks like it's just going to be too late. They've tried to load up Cuckoo, but Armel going to be the distraction, find Zephyr in the back lines, Whitemon waiting around the corner as well. They can't even kill this mark. He's going to get the Ink 12 stun out, Alpha getting locked down this entire time, buyback immediately. Who got the Aegis? It is just in the hands of Gabby, and now he's going to look for the fight. Mark's going to melt super quickly. In Your Dream is already used to Heaven's Help, but he can't keep on fighting. They fought back on one, but I think TNC just going to look for more and more kills. Abed does manage to jump away. So it looks like he'll be all right, but that is the last of his remnants, and Armel actually closing the gap. He's got the Yules, he's got the Spear, and they've got more than enough damage to finish this kill. And it's just TNC all day. Seems like they suspect that the smoke might be happening, and they're just going to go and claim a high ground and see if they can fight around it. Um, there are still ways for Gabby to die without getting the BKB off, but shouldn't happen so long as Armel and KP are the ones in the front lines. Abed getting spotted. Yule's up. Do they have the timing? They don't. He whiffs it, and Abed just waiting with the BKB anyway. He's going to be just fine. Now very awkward for Armel. He's just going to get run at. KP in the back lines, hoping to find something. March is going to get shredded, but one for one looking decent for Among Us thus far. Abed needs to deal with the silence. He can't do it. He got the fire spirit on top of him. So now he gets speared. Gabby's holding the line, preventing Among Us from coming in with backup. And even though it wasn't the best start, KP kind of dying in no man's land. TNC still put the team fight together. They'll come away with kind of an expected win, given from, that they had uh, the Abed second. and Cuckoo, it feels like, compared to the previous. They're just running at him. You're dream, you gotta be careful. TNC dodge that silence. He's running forward. His team isn't even here. He just wants the white one kill, and he does get it. He had the clumsy net anyway, so... Oh, uh, that TP was really not destined to work. Is the BKB still on cooldown for the PA? Cuckoo goes jumping in, only finding Tim's. There's a change. The Lotus is actually still on cooldown for the time being, so he can't quite get away. Now the dive comes through, but he doesn't have the supernova, so Abed just going to keep on chasing after him. Armel trying to think about whether or not he actually wants this fight. It's only the three cores alive currently. There is a corrosive haze on Abed, and I think that's what they're thinking about, but yeah, still 50 seconds to go on the BKB for Gabby, so... Coming out, looking for these supports. Zephyr and March both in big trouble. Armel gonna finish off one, turns his attention over towards the other. Zephyr just gonna try for the TP, but there's a blink crush and that will finish that one. But Gabby getting left all by his lonesome on the other side, caught out and finished off. And now Among Us, they're not done. It's a very scrappy fight. They've got the vision up on the high ground, so they can actually just keep on going. Abed doesn't have the mana for the chains, but out pops in your dream. And with the shield, I don't think that's going to be enough to save Armel. White Mon looking for a little bit of a turnaround. Defensive Yules, Inkswell stun, not going to help enough, but a nice Slardar crush will protect them as he retreats up onto the high ground. They're still fighting, even without their PA. Looking like Huku is going to be brought down. Abed still struggling with the mana problems as he tries to escape from this fight. Armel doesn't have Flinker Yules for a moment, but that slight actually just putting Abed right in the middle of everybody. And gets brought down. He, he was about to die to a blink crush anyway. I think that's really a play that they can make. Seems like Abed instead going to end up being the target. Should now know that there's some heroes in the, the neighborhood as he sees that creep wave getting demolished. <laughs> have to be pretty careful with this nether shawl. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Good habits. Uh, pulling the Shiva's recipe out of the backpack. I, I don't think he really needed to, but... And always make sure that you have a full inventory if possible. Kuku is jumping in, he doesn't find anything. They're gonna drop the Doom, but there is the Aegis on this PA, so is this actually gonna matter? Well, they do get the Soul Bind out. Gabby's gonna come back, and he will have the full DKB. Armel wants to force the fight as a result, looking for the life stealer. First, Kuku, also not very healthy. He's gone in your dream, followed up on next. Neither of them has a buyback. The egg pops. So, stun onto Abed. He's just looking to escape, trying to chase down White Mon, but forced to retreat. No evade death there. Uh, okay, not quite level 18. Do they have a tome that somebody could buy for him, maybe? Uh, jump in. Cuckoo's just already dead. Admit, maybe he can get the blink off. He's trying to juke for it. He does get it, but Gabby is straight on top of him. Gets the reset, then finds March. Zephyr pops the Ghost Scepter, but that's not going to save him either. Gabby just makes mincemeat out of him. Among Us not going to get this defense at all and very much looking like TNC. Uh, are going to be making this a 1-1 series here. 
monster energy jug of summer 13. Yeah, I, I don't know what do you do. Do you just call it? I guess you've got one more lane, but you're now down 14k. Dota Plus not liking your chances. Armel has a full AC, and they're just hitting your tier fours. Um, Gabby has had an amazing game. Uh, 14, 1, and 8. There were a few missteps on the anti-mage, maybe in the previous game, but definitely proven himself. Okay, smoke up. They do have the level 18 on the Lena now. Armel getting caught. Does still have the BKB. KP, ooh, a little off the money on the crush there. It's gonna be okay. Ah, bad. Gotta be careful. That one dagger doing so much damage. He gets locked down by the immediate back. Cuckoo's looking for the doom. Can he even get it off? Armel getting healed up. KP just gonna keep on going forward. Gabby, triple dagger. Almost kills up in your dreams instantly. Cuckoo also copping just way too much damage. The supports are alive, but not for long. Triple kill for Gabby. Give him one more. Can he get Zephyr? Yes, he can. It's not quite a rampage, but it may as well be as the GG's come out. And TNC will end up making this a 1-1 series overall. And getting us back on schedule just a little bit. We're still uh, still running somewhat behind. 